Hello everyone. Well, I've got a little scattered of, you know, what I wanted to do today. Um, I'm not going to allow myself, like I said, to, to be moved. I just, I get so upset when the words I speak, when expounding His Word, when they twist them. But I want to add to another thing um, concerning His Word and those who heard Him or hear him when he was when they was questioning and I do want to go over you know I want to make a video that's what I wanted to do today but hearing you know Ambrose speaking every evil about my last video is just but I'm not going to answer with my own words you know That's what you have to come to learn and understand. When one speaks rightly, and then the accuser or the contender comes, they contend with many of their own words. They're defending the testimony with many of their own words. It's their own reasoning. When Christ speaks, when those who hold the word speak, which and I have said some of my own, just at, just not prepared fully to come against, to defend. But well, not really my own. Just too many, maybe too many words I've spoke sometimes. But when Christ word defends the word it, it, it reasons it, it comes together with scripture the scripture will start how do you say it well, they defend with many of their own words saying their own thing to explain what view they're coming from but when one holds the word and understands it as they're speaking, the, the truth of Scripture will come. They will, it will back up. Their, their speaking will back up what was spoken. You know, and those who hold the Word will hear that. Will hear the truth in it. In what they're saying. And they will relate it. They will hear the scriptural truth to what is being spoken. hope that made sense. But anyway, I'm a little... You know, I'm late for work again. Um, I'm still being prepared. But I want to add one more thing. Um, when they was asking about, when they was asking Jesus about the words he spoke, why ask me? Ask those who heard what I have said. Behold, they know what I have said. Again, did he tell them, why ask me? Go look at the book. Go, you know, go look at the letters. He did not send them to go to look at a book. Behold, they know what I have said. And behold, they know. I will put together a video. Um explaining more what I said in my last videos which I've said a lot in it but it was just you know it wasn't in fullness I guess and when the contenders come they uh, they confuse the word that was spoken hope something there made sense but anyway I want to um, you know it's my whole life I've always known, and but things, you know, these last months, I, there's no putting into words, you know, how my whole life, thing, what, what I've heard, what I've gone through, but um, 
when I say even re revelation concerning myself, how I've always known that I would do this in the end. I've never tried to have a life here because I've always known I could not be happy here. I've always known, you know, there's just so much about me. And it's not myself I'm boasting. It's what he has set me aside to do. It's why I'm alive today. And I've always known that I would not pass away, that my work, what I was set aside, it would be done, that I would be here to do whatever it was. Okay? And I'm going to share some things about myself. Um, and, but I understand. The thing is to understand. This is the only way. And I don't know how many others, you know, have been put aside as I have been put aside. I don't know how many, you know, but I know, you know, I'm see seeing some, you know, that will leave me messages, comments in my email. They hear. That means they hold the same word. You know, I, I, I just, I only know my experience. Um, and it is nothing in myself. It is for His glory. That because I couldn't have done it, I couldn't have kept myself alive this long. I should have been dead many times in my life. I have oh, it's been clearly shown to me throughout my life that I have been helped. Um. You know, I mean, my name, Nancy Louise. You know, no one called me Nancy until I was 16. My mother is the only one that called me by my name, Nancy. They all called me Pruny. P R U N I, Pruny. That was my nickname. And I guess in school, I think that might be why I had such a problem in school, partly because I just didn't fit in, but I think it was maybe strange that others there might have called me Nancy, although only the teachers because I didn't have friends in school. Only a couple. And my friends called me Pruny, too. <laughs> but... um. And see, I understand, I just had these understanding. It's like this spirit has been showed me throughout my life. And I've known, I've always known that, that but there's just so much that I am not going to tell. Because it's not about me. But I'm, I'm going to share this. So whoever wants to think this is boastful, because the Father had to set some aside to ensure that His Word would be kept and that's what he's done and I don't understand how you know I was made one of those all I know is I am and the world has fought with me my whole life telling me that I'm not why the spirit has told me yes you are and um, so and then my mother has always told me that she got my name off of the Morton salt box. That you know, she was. She thought that she had heard something that the little girl was called Nancy. You know, this is what she's told me since I was little, or that maybe there was a contest, to, or something about it. But I don't know what. But I, as I know, is somehow she got the idea of my name from the salt box. That little girl on there. Which is how she dressed me. When I was with my mother, because I'm an only child, you know, my mother, something else anyway, but any, she's a dreamer, but, um, she's had struggles in her life also, but, um, 
my mother would dress me like that when I was with my mother. She dressed me in those little. I, I I could probably find a picture to show how she dressed me just like that little girl on the salt box. But um. But when I was with my grandmother, I mean, I look at a picture there in my happiest days with my grandmother. I was raised with my aunts and uncles, mostly. You know, although I was the only child, I had them all around me. But um, I'd wear, like, rags and stuff when I was with Granny. But, um, but so the name, that's all I know is that my name came off the sock box, and I never thought anything of it. And then I found my name means Grace. Nancy. Um, there's so much. I don't even like to share it. Um, it was, I guess, a couple years ago, which I didn't think nothing of it. I don't know how I come studying the Greek, you know, I come across the word prunikos. That's how I pronounce it, I guess, prunikos, which is Sophia or wisdom. And whether someone wants to say I'm boasting or someone wants to say that that means nothing, and I've been showed otherwise. Um, I was called pruny. And then my whole, you know, even some, some of the older people, they died never calling me Nancy. I was pruny. So I just, you know, I consider it, but I always push those things off. Okay, prunikos is wisdom, Sophia in Greek. And then, a few months ago, um, I've come across the Morton Salt, oh, I was looking at the Morton Salt box, you know, and, you know, I've always known that's where my, my name came from. And then I realized I've never really paid attention what she's doing, but the little girl is spilling her salt behind her. She's salting the earth behind her as she's walking along. And that was given to me. An epiphany of myself, because I know that that is what I'm here to do. That's what we are here to do. So my name came from the little salt box where the little girl's salting the earth behind her. And um, then I found that my name comes in Greek from the same that John comes from. Annas, A-N-N-E-S, it's a derivative of that, however that works, but that's where both my name and John's name comes from. And at the beginning of my... Um, whatever that was, I don't know if it's a... I always called it a calling, but I knew even before then. You know, that's after I had, you know, after I had went through, you know, gotten married and they showed me, and I know now it was the spirit that I already had that would not allow what they was telling me. It was contrary to, you know, God as I knew it. God has, has always been with me, even as a child. I understand now. But that warred with me. When the religion got a hold of me and was telling me, telling me all this. You know, and, it, and after just... The Spirit itself denied what they were saying, but I was, did have no knowledge. I did not know. All I, you know... How was I supposed to know? So I went through many years of confusion because of the word that man had done. And I don't know, just many years, and then one day I went, and um, I went, and I said, I, I just wanted to know. You know, I had, my oldest son was a little then, and um, I, and I just decided I was going to go to God myself. All the confusion in me, I was going to go and ask myself. And I went, and I said, I don't know anything. 
I blocked out anything. I, went, I said, I don't know. I said, show me who you are. I said, teach me who you are, and I will teach my children who you are. Show me who you are. I want to know. Let me know. And that's when I opened up the book. Not trying to understand, I just went, and I'm going to see if I can, you know. I took the faith I had and began to read. And from the time, which is, this is another, when Ambrose had once said, we all hear carnal the first time we read. Actually, I did not hear the carnal. I heard the good news. I heard the message. But there was no one there to help me. There was no one there to understand what I was hearing. It was all good. And I wanted, it wasn't what, it was a whole other spirit than what had been cast at me from me. But because I had no one to help me, only my faith in that word that I heard. And that word I held and I hoped in. And I went through many years of trouble, denying it, not, not being able to accept what I heard. But I was, from then I was told I was going to go. I knew I would go on a great trial. And, you know, throughout my life, just, you know, the Spirit has been revealed throughout my life. It's like, and I've, now I understand, but now where I'm at now, I understand. That word that I first heard was what was true. And yes, Ambrose, I did hear it in the book. But, but believing that word I heard is where I'm at today. You know, there's some, I can't even tell all that has in, trans, happened in my life to bring me to where I am now. But I, you know, there's just so much to say, but um, where was I start? What was I starting with this? You know, there's other things like um, when the church first, you know, I can remember thinking, I, I just put my trust in that word. If I, if I belong to Him, I know that I would, He would bring me through. I knew in the end that I that I would, you know, I trusted in the word. And I don't, I haven't went back to all of it, and there's no way I can, you know, but his word was true, and it's brought me to where I am today. And, um, oh, another thing, that's what I was going to say. After, you know, I was, heard the testimony, and then, man, I had no one to help me. I was speaking back to the name, um. I've had like experience, I don't know, dreams, visions, whatever, throughout my life here or there, things happen. There's even times I've dreamed and then stuff happened that I dreamed. But it would never be exactly the same. But that's not what I'm talking about. And I always knew. I put off anything. I thought, if it's not of God, I do not want it. You know, there's more about my story that I, you know, but I, I put off I wanted nothing that wasn't of God. But, um, after the confusion, you know, no one there to help. And then, once I had just got done reading, this is after I had just heard the testimony the first time, and I had just got done reading, and I put my Bible down on the bed. I, it was open, and I left it on the bed, and I went, and I laid down in my living room. And it's, it was like, I didn't even, I knew I had no, did not have time to fall asleep, but I've never known. I thought, maybe I did fall asleep that fast, but it seemed like, you know, I laid down, and the next thing I know, I'm standing, and my stairs are in front of me. I'm laying on the couch over to my right in front of me, 
but I, next thing I know, I'm standing. The stairs are in front of me. There's a door right here to the left where the bed where I just laid the book down. Um, the Bible was sitting there. So, and I, you know, I'm standing on the stairs and I look over to my left. I turn my head to the left and there's a man in Jewish garb. Flat black hat and he had, you know, the Jewish black clothes on. And he's sitting at the side of my bed. I'm going to show you. just, to, And I'm not sure why I'm... But he's sitting there. I'm over there where you're at there. And I look at him. And he's sitting there with the book open in his hand. And then he slowly turns to me like this. He says... But he pierced through my eyes when he turned. He had his book open. And he did slowly... And I used to be able to pierce... You know, when I'd show people what had happened, I used to be able to pierce you like he pierced my eyes. But when he looked into my eyes, that's what it was like. He pierced through my soul with his eyes. And what went through my mind was, it was, well, the question was, who am I? Is what, you know, went through. Like he was asking me, who am I? If you know so much, who am I? And I didn't know. I thought, just because he's in black, I, for the knowledge I had at that time, you know, what I'd read, just because he's in black, I'm not going to think that he's bad because it, I've heard that even Satan appears as an angel of light. You know, to my understanding of what that meant then. Um... You know, so I wasn't going to believe he, that's what, this just went through my head real fast. It was, who am I if you know so much? And I thought, I'm not going to think he's bad just because he's wearing black. Because even Satan appears as an angel of light. And then I, and then I saw my mother and my son standing in the same room. And I did not know if I should fear him my, for my children and my mother, my son and my mother. I did not know, and then the name John went through my head, and I and and I just you know, and then but because I did not know who he was, I just fell to my knees and I threw my arms up in front of the stairs, and I remember my soul just cried out to God, as I understood. You know, I just threw my arms up and just, I remember just crying out for help because I did not know. And that was a long time ago. And the next thing I know, I'm laying there. I opened my eyes on the couch and I had just peace about me. I wasn't fearing, I, didn't, I just had a peace about me. And that was, you know, all I remember from it. But I always remember the name John went through my head. And um, there's more that happened after that. I was scared to pick up the Bible for a while. I thought I wasn't worthy to hear what I was hearing. Um, and... See, it was years later, I guess. There's so much more. But there was years later that I realized um, that, my, that my calling came. It was heard mostly in John's Gospel. You know. And I, I understood that, you know, some of the things that I even was given to understand then I, it was in John, and um, I don't understand myself totally and how I receive, but I'm just going to share with you. There's been a lot happening with my life to, come, to bring me to where I now am. I don't look back at things. I don't look at who, you know, just... You know, anything or who I am, I look at where, how I've gotten to where I am now.
and you know, I know that the salt box wasn't isn't a coincidence that that's my name. And that is what I'm here to do. And I don't know how many me's there are. Um, but I've heard things that when you've had so much given, you cannot put it out like that. I can only give piece by piece. I understand so much of what, of the working, <clears throat> of why it was all done. Um, when I say... <laughs> I, you know, it was it was the carnal that would not allow me, had I, I think I had to learn, and I've always known, too, that I had to learn. I had to go through all these things so that I would learn, that I will have a right answer to give. And I've never cared for myself. Now I do, because I want to give his word. I want time to speak his word. I loved not my life until the end. And now for what I hold, I cherish. And uh, as he's brought me this far, I know that he will finish what he promised with me. Um, our Father is good. And there's so many who have never known his goodness.